welcome to well uh paint shop <laughs> i'm major freak and this is my evolution of uh seven eight sturm uh from well this is my third attempt my first two attempts were with an allied uh division but this is my first attempt with a german division and i I was having fun with the uh, one of the allied um there wasn't a mosquito but um I think it was a lightning it was a really fast uh, really fast recon and I loved it um <laughs> but these are so slow they just died so quickly it takes me a while to get out of uh I try more of them or less of them yes I eventually give up um I haven't actually used the bombers yet I'm very scared of anti air um really loved uh artillery uh went a bit too crazy with artillery <laughs> uh not enough diversity just silly amounts of uh sea card artillery uh yeah um i had the battery fears in it um phase a i tried that for a while eventually moved to phase c because i realized that i wasn't stacking up with the commandant i i pretty much had the AA with the mortars and, and so the commandant's pretty much giving the bonus of two to um to the RD and whatever's on the hill I usually go for in uh, Orsha North um I'm only trying Orsha North skirmish at the moment and the hills are great position for on both sides of course symmetrical for the commandant and the mortars and the anti-air so the flak and the mortars uh get set up uh the commandant um where is he there um gets set up as well i've got at first it was a i had no idea about economy um and income and stuff so i just thought i'll put these guys in they're good and yada yada but then you realize you just don't have enough points for everything um which i guess most people are like whatever but i'm like if i'm choosing these guys for phase a i want everybody all the cards in phase a to be deployed in phase a it just makes sense why would you do anything different just why give yourself false expectations of what you can put on field um if you've got a concept you know uh, manifest it in phase a um if you've got a concept in phase b manifest that and for phase c then you can start break because if you you don't want to have a hopscotch of of units you want to deploy those because i want to deploy all my earths and struppen in phase a and my actual troops coming in in phase C are that and why would I want to send in Ersenstrappen if they're there if I'm if I need Ersenstrappen in phase C I'm in trouble I'm doing something wrong right you get your um shock troops there that are just throwaways in place in the beginning and if you still have them great reuse them move them forward stuff like use them for probing stuff but why if why using cheap troops in phase c and bring them in when you don't like why don't you have any from phase a you have 18 you lost them all you know that kind of thinking so i wanted to get them all in so this is my first attempt um what's it look like i had no idea about the stern pioneer um it just it just did not occur to me that my only long range were my it's just dropping um just didn't kind of sink in and look at that i gotta wait till phase c till i have decent long range infantry it was, uh, so you know you, you need to, in place because if somebody engages you and you just literally can't engage them except with the earth drop and then you're going to be falling back a lot um and I learned about it more about um, the veterancy and all that stuff. So 
and it shoots and there's no leaders oh my god i didn't have a leader in phase a that's hilarious yeah that's a big mistake um i didn't have a rank the hardly in it look the, the pure but the, so i have no look no veteran c um stokes and b and that's it god that's horrible <laughs> I, I don't think I ever got a chance to bring them out. Uh, I had Flammerwarf. Yeah, I don't have Flammerwarf because I've got Sturm Pioneer. Why would I, you know, I, I look at all these Sturm, 14 Sturm Pioneers and, pff, you know, um, they're fast um, and they get in place really quick and maybe I need to consider that. But at the same time, if I'm rushing ahead to put flamers in forests in key positions why am i expecting an attack you know they are going to be taken out they might route somebody but they're eventually going to be taken out and that's 15 points just thrown away i'd rather have somebody who's you know who's survivable if i'm putting somebody in a vulnerable position i want earth strap and so i don't have to micromanage them to fall back they'll just fall back automatically and they'll fall, they'll they'll uh, go suppressed really quick because they have zero rank right so yeah i just dropped this idea uh and i dropped mgs and flam and walk yeah phase b for sure um why rush um they're quick but why rush mgs into the fight um they're great i love them to bits but you're going to have to put them in vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable positions. And I'd rather have a, my system set up, know where they're needed, and then send them in phase B. So, yeah. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of troops being sent in in phase A. Um whoa yeah i'd never have enough points to put all this in in phase a that's hilarious wow look at all that that's crazy and they're not even wow i actually i don't believe my current ones are, are veterans at all uh, i've got three pack eight, uh three packs in uh in phase a and that's it wow sure drop that down uh phase b i think i have these in phase c now and the martyr ah i've got two highly veteran uh nash ones in phase c but no martyrs i was considering dropping one card for some martyrs but i love my packs they're just great um i'll take packs over martyrs any day um they cost the same but you can hide them in forest for frick's sakes so these guys are more maneuverable. I can, you know, if if this was a big map, I would definitely go with Martyrs. You know, definitely go with Martyrs and put them in Light Forest um, because you'd need to, you need to reposition them. I mean, it'd be great, but yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It, large maps, yes. The, this small map, no. Uh, the Flak, I've actually gone down to uh, two Flaks. Um, with one veterancy um, so when my commandant comes on they're three veterancy so yeah we'll, we'll try it seems to be working out if it doesn't currently I'll uh, drop it but yeah that's look at all this just crazy amounts it's <laughs> six wow okay and no veterancy too wow 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 that's a lot. I was terrified. <laughs> now it's like, yeah, two will do. <laughs> 237 is fine in phase A. <laughs> All right. So how much did I change? Let's add these. How much did I change? Um, okay, I went to two veterancy. I don't think I actually realized how important veterancy is for tanks yet i think it was just uh points stuff b and c huh okay so third attempt 
I'm just looking at the tanks right now. Just focusing on tanks. So fifth attempt. So I don't really change the. Oh wait. So by fifth attempt, I had a battle. Sixth attempt, I really haven't had a a battle yet. Uh, there's a recording for um, this, uh, and I play a battle with this. Um, and I assume, let's see, attempts D. So I go with the, huh, interesting. It takes me a while to switch, and then I go six attempt E. So it takes me a while to decide to switch this up and actually have some tanks in phase A. Interesting. And at first I, I try out the, I like small little skirmishes uh, not recorded um, because I'm still playing with uh, points, and I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, well, I already talked about it, um, you know, uh, putting all of eight cards in play in phase A. Uh, takes a bit of math. I hate math. Uh, so A, B, and C, that's a lot of tanks. And I had a high banner at C, uh, Stoke Leader, in phase A. And I was like, oh, I just need one for one flank. That's all I need. Um, but then quickly I realized that a, why not have three stugs and high veterancy in phase A? I can do it. I can do it with, deal with the points. I've got, I've, uh, I trimmed down my anti-air and it was like, okay, let's, let's see, what did I do? I dropped, I dropped a, f a f oh, I had a fighter for a while, didn't I? Yeah, okay, I had a fighter for a while and I dropped it and I was able to put the stugs in. drop veterancy on aca flares too because they're not supposed to fight um increase the the stop um veterancy uh, i think i'd lower it at some point yeah i lower it uh by one they've got uh i, I switch back and forth between the s um the machine gun jeep uh, stru uh spa trups spa trups got to get um uh, machine gun jeeps which are great uh they're kind of shitty for aa but whatever um i eventually i i put them on the flanks but then i eventually realized as i'm trimming down my strategy that i can place them with the commandant and they'll get two ranks bonus so they'll be the eyes next to the commandant so i love that and they're they've got machine uh they um, machine guns uh, for troops as well. So yeah, I kind of like it. So that way I can use the aqua flares um, elsewhere. Um, or at least everywhere else but the commandant area on the on the hill. So yeah. Anyways, so yeah, I eventually hit on the ABC and the fears for the tanks. Let's go back. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, a few tanks in phase A are just, are just perfect. It's just, it's just perfect. Um, the concept at least. Um, I didn't really realize the power of uh, spa traps for a while. Oh, actually, I don't. I, I, I realized them right away. Oh, cool. And I had a, I, yeah, I found their, it must have been, ooh, cool, this unit has um, machine gun jeeps. Great. And I threw them in the in the mix in phase B, and then phase C, <laughs> and then phase A. <laughs> Hopping back and forth between machine gun and not. <laughs> yeah, and the numbers too, look. Uh, uh, four, six, six, two, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs> He's trying to find my mix. Uh, I have three spot traps. Interesting. I usually put two with a commandant, and then I had an extra one. 
uh, for a flank somewhere that's needed for scouting and plus be able to defend itself later in the game. Uh, you know, later in phase A, where I want to start probing for real. Um, yeah, spoiler alert. If you see a spot trap on the front line, that's where I want to uh, advance. Um, so let's check out the infantry now. I've already checked out the tanks and let's check out the infantry. So I had, I keep the Urson strapping the entire way through. They're, yeah, they're really helpful. Um, and you can, of course, adjust the better and see or anything. So it's just, yeah. Um, yeah, attack powers videos absolutely help with that. It's like you need disheartened troops. They're they're perfect for yeah they 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 don't die easy because they run away, <laughs> and because they're running away, it means they take a little less damage, which is fa a fascinating mechanic. Um, so stern pioneers. I had two stern. I th think I settled. I think it, co it cooled my jets about the Stern Pioneers pretty quickly on. There you go. See? And I don't go back to more Stern Pioneers. Yeah, I'm just looking at Stern Pioneers right now. Yeah. So I had Stern Pioneer, Stern, two Stern Pioneers, fourth attempt. Stern, Schertzen, and B. See, I still don't have long range um, infantry in phase A or B yet. Um, and then I put in um, I put in a leader in in by the my fifth attempt, um, which is um, when I take video of uh, in a couple of uh, in the next iteration is yeah, definitely need leaders in phase A. Um, starting to learn about veteran and see how important it is. Um, <clears throat> I have high rank Sturm Pioneers. I don't know why. Um, I was infatuated with Flamers, I guess. Uh, and then I start, I f discovered the Irregulars, the Bararungs. Um, they're great, they're long distance, and they have six um, um, anti-tank grenades. It's great. Um, so that's okay. That's getting there. I still need long range other than earth strapping in phase A. And it takes me a bit to realize that. It honestly does. It takes me quite a while. Like I go, I'm in a fit six phase right now and I still haven't figured it out. Uh, it takes me quite a while. Probably right after I start adding, the, I started getting smart about uh, the tanks and then the Stug G and then shuts it. So pretty, uh, yesterday I figured it out. I need more Stugs in phase A and then long range infantry in phase A. And there you go, your shuts in. And that pretty much is stabilized. Yeah, I add another card actually of infantry um, just so I could have oh well look at that two look at that two wow so I've got six rank one then I realize wait I need rank three I'm gonna have my pioneer fears um, pioneer fears uh, red entry one have a smaller command radius than red entry two but it's so small that it, it, whatever, right? I'd rather have three of them than one or two, as the case may be. So, yeah. So I just added an extra card of rank two stretch and so I can get six of them. It, it feels so important for me to get rank two as shuts in as many as I can in, uh, well, uh, within reason. Uh, in phase A, so I had the points to spare. And we'll test that out too. I'm really curious if I can actually get it in under budget. That'd be fun. So I've got Sturm shirts in, in phase C, and I thought they were great because, you know, assault 
weapons, but they've only got 300 range um, rifles. And if they're at an edge in a forest and somebody starts engaging them in the open infantry from 500, I can't shoot back. It's like, what the hell? So for me, Sturm shirts are great assault troops, um, close range, great assault troops. I think they have a Panzerfaust and they're awesome. I love them and they'd be great for attacking positions. <laughs> but yeah, for your basic get in there and hold the territory, yeah, I'm kind of leery about there. They're very specialized. So yeah, that was that. Was that. Um, dealt with the tanks, looked at the recon. Um, I couldn't find any other infantry uh, or anything that would use um, machine gun jeeps only, if for this division, only the uh, uh, Spatrops. And I looked, I really tried. All right, so support. So Flame Waffer and SMG, when do I? So I, I figure out the, the Stern Pioneers are better than Flame Waffer, for me at least, um, at least on this map. Maybe in larger maps, you need them quick so they can get there and guard those key forests. Maybe on bigger maps, but on smaller maps, I'm happy with Stern Pioneers and trucks. So the Commandant, I realized that's, I always need a Commandant in Phase A because you can only get in Phase A, so that's a fixture. So I'm gonna ignore that. And I've got B and C uh, for supply trucks and that never changes. Um, and I don't add a third card I don't think I uh, know I don't anyway so so the SMG is phase A and then go phase B and they stay that way uh, and I think do I go rank two yeah yeah I go rank two and only lose I only lose two uh, SMG twos but going rank two so that's perfect so I stick with that and fairly early on I fall in love with the infantry gun. Yeah, it does some hero work uh, in the video, I think. I think I took a video of that. Um, might not, but yeah, you'll definitely see the, the infantry gun go into play in phase B. It's, I love them. And you only get two of them, but God, they're awesome. Um, because, you know, the pack only has a few rounds of, or very low rounds of HE, but this, this one, yeah. So, definitely love them. Um, they do a lot of damage before the enemy starts falling back, right? So, that pretty much stays. I don't think I change it at all. Let's see. Yeah, it's. Yeah. So, it's pretty stable. Yeah. It, it's a, that's my fourth attempt. So, I figure out. Uh, well, actually, the lower it takes it takes me till my fifth attempt to uh lower the smg but yeah pretty much the same ideal so that's standard anti-tank look at all those packs that's hilarious and then i stone it down right away but i i shift it to a b and c card look at that i've got 16 packs that's hilarious um I want two pandashrek cards on field b and c does that change at all Added an Ashorn. I don't take anything away. I take away a lot of AA and add an Ashorn. And let's see. I've still got three cards of packs. Don't touch it for a while. I go for two. Oh, wow. So I've had phase C packs for a while. I've never deployed them. The game never lasts till phase C, unless I'm actually trying to make it last. Give the AI, a, I've only been playing AI. Um, I'm sure the first time I try this setup against a player, I'll die <laughs> quickly. But hey. So yeah, phase C and A, B, Panda Tracks. It's just the points. Uh, they cost a lot, and I don't have enough points for Phase B, even with Maverick, to get all the packs on. So it's like, 
I'm fine with three and A. And then I've got my tanks, you know. So love the veteran two national. Adore it. And I had one. I added one in fifth attempt A. So yeah. Once I got from a fifth attempt, that took very short time. You know, third attempt, fourth attempt, fifth attempt, bam, national. And I dropped the martyrs. Do I even I entertain thinking about martyrs for a while, but each time I think about it, it's like, yeah, no, I'll take the natural one, thanks. And the, yeah, the anti-air. Look at that anti-air. That's crazy. Yeah, I dropped two cards right away. <laughs> it's like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I totally tone it down. Yeah, do I, do I increase it from that? No, not really. I drop one card, I believe, eventually. There. Down to three cards in anti-air. Yeah, I'm totally comfortable with three cards in anti-air now. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, just just last night I decided I'll take Veteran C1 and have three Veteran C with the Commandant. And yeah, I'm just I'm good with two. They'll kill stuff. It's great. And of course, you've got the... Um, Yeah, because I could put the SDKFZ, I don't know how to say it in German, um, and it, let alone pronounce, um, probably on one of the flanks. Uh, with one of the uh, Fuhrers. Right, and artillery. Let's check out artillery. Battery for your A. And I don't change that for quite some time, actually. Go with the veteran C high. This, yeah, whatever. Um, and then very recently I go with four battery for your two. I think I don't have a, do I have a choice? I'd rather have, I'd rather have more of them. Well, whatever, right? It it doesn't really matter. It's not like they're gonna get killed off. So yeah, that I just do a switch the same I've got Yeah, I just do the switch from battery fears to C and playing around with the veteran C a little bit with the mortars but yeah as soon as i realized the commandant gives two then i was like okay I, let's let's get that to three i really like the three and i just don't have the points to uh like 60, 60 is a lot in phase a like when you're when you're down to the crunch so yeah so three mortars are great and then you've got the heavy mortar um, add that to the mix. No need to get fancy, right? Yeah. And I really love the uh, 150 milliliter. Uh, 150 millimeter. Okay, then. Yeah, pretty much standardized. Yeah, since my fourth attempt, since, yeah, since my first blush look at uh, artillery. On the German side, I went immediately to motors. Cool. All right. When did I get the 120 millimeter? Oh, it happened pretty quick. All right. My first, after my first actual battle that I recorded and I uploaded, uh, the fifth attempt, um, fifth attempt C or B. Yeah. Dropped, uh, dropped one of the 80 millimeters for. You know, because I just didn't get there. So I'm like, screw it. I'm going to add a 120mm motor. And then eventually I was like, wait a minute. I want it in phase A. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and the air. Yeah, as you can see, let's see. I, I go, and it gets blown up. I'm going to wait till phase B. But then at the same time, I want 
air recon as soon as possible. So how soon do I, yeah, I try to gain in my sixth attempt. So after the first video, up, uh, that fifth battle I uploaded, I tried with that, but it died really quick and there was only one of them. So I'm like, crap, when do I drop it? And then I, yeah, it, it, it just didn't work. I wasn't deploying it, yada, yada. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, add in a, a Yinker um, recon. But then, yeah, see? Wow, really quickly I decided on that. And Venerzy 2. So I got real smart real quick about air. And so that's that's pretty much what I have right now. Except I decided to have... Because you, if you rank 2, it turns tighter. So you can have it close in. But then I realized, wait... I can get them to orbit a single point, and if they're really low, they'll go out, draw out their interceptors, and I'll come back, because they're pretty quick. They'll come back under flak cover, and then the interceptors will die. You know, it was like, yes, please, and they survive a lot. So, B, C, B, C, A, I tried it for a bit, but I just didn't like, you know. And I went back to six, you know, to two, really, really highly agile, but they just died. And I was like, could I do throwaway stuff? And I debated that, and I was like, screw it, no, let's get the units in freaking <laughs> phase A. Let's do this up. Um, and I had two of them, and that's, yeah, just decided. Yeah, I really like it. And I, I, I often use defense, maybe it's for another map or scenario or something. Who knows? But yeah, that is my lineup. I've kind of, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's, this is definitely very newbish. Look at all those anti tanks and anti air and artillery. <laughs> it's like, um, <laughs> you don't have any tanks in phase A. You got a shitload. You, the more anti more packs that you could deploy in phase than you possibly have. You've got like six, there's no way I could deploy all of this. Like, look at all this. There's no way. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, and look at all these MGs. And f yeah, it's like, nope. So, yeah. And yeah, the, the way it's working right now, uh, I went with, yeah, after the fifth battle upload, I went with Maverick because it was like, wait, I won't be able to deploy my B cards before B, B phase ends unless I go with Maverick. So I've been testing the, the deployment points with Maverick. You know, I might decide to drop Maverick and go with Balanced if if it works out and then I'll just tailor it something else but at the moment Maverick's really helpful because it's like wait wouldn't you want to push the field as much as possible in the first 20 minutes and then for the next what 40 minutes if if you have if you haven't been able to actually get an advantage and the time is sticking down for a win you're doing something wrong so yeah, I mean, I really like Maverick for that reason. Um, I don't understand why other people aren't trying to take advantage of this. Um, putting all the cards for A in Phase A and all the cards for Phase B, you, you put them on the field in Phase B. It's just, I just don't understand. Like, there's so much advantage in doing that because you can have your concept and run with it. And then in Phase C you've got the phase C cards that, you, you know, it, it's otherwise you're juggling constantly and great if you're a great player and you can, they're like a lot of good players so like just chuck everything on the field and win and that's great. I, I like to be more circumspect. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's fun. I mean, it, if it turns out that my concept is completely wrong and I need to pick and choose per phase what I put in and eventually in phase C I'll be putting still I'll, I'll still be adding stuff from phase A maybe um, but yeah for now I'm gonna go with this I'm sure that 
I'll have little additions to this uh, later. So I'll definitely want to save this video and then just tack on new stuff at the end because I'm sure this is I'm sure I'll have a seventh attempt series for sure as it as this matures. Um, yeah. Anyways, especially if I <laughs> run into a uh, start doing multiplayer. Lol. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching.